welcome back after the break and I could sense and I could feel the whole vibrations of the room I'm very much sure you all enjoyed the dialogue and benefited a lot from it and also in order to bring about this wonderful summit today which we all are part of it your contribution is the most essential one for coming here and making the summit a successful one and making it happen but behind the scenes we have many people who are working behind this and today I would like to take this opportunity to thank them especially for making the summit possible as you're all aware Brahma Kumaris is the organizer of this whole summit but we have our partners who have been supportive in organizing and contributing the delegation for this particular dialogue so today right now I would like to invite our representatives from each of the partner organization and I would like you to just share your feelings what you're having today as a part of the summit so I would like to call upon the partners uh, Mr. Ajay Portar who's the board committee member of the PhD chamber brother we welcome you we also welcome Sri Babu Lalji who is the executive director and the chief of L&D department of the Bharat Heavy Electricals, uh, the BHEL and I also would like to invite Mr. Sanjay Mediratta who is the vice president of investor relations in at the HCL and Ms. Sunita Mohan who is the head of account markets from the PMI. So a very warm welcome to you and we would like you to share your feelings and what you have benefited just in one minute. Thank you, sister. Good morning. It's morning yet, right? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. And um, just to introduce myself briefly, my name is Sunita Mohan and I'm representing uh, my organization, PMI, Project Management Institute. And we're happy to partner with uh, this uh, great uh, event. And uh, had it not been for, you know, our organization, association, I would have never seen myself being here. You know, uh, meditation and all, were all was always for me, you know, for somebody who's, you know, very evolved and now I'm too busy. There are too many things happening in my life and I cannot devote time for meditation. This is what I thought always. So I never gave it uh, much importance. But now that I'm here and it's a real eye opener for me and uh, I'm going to adopt it, certainly adopt it in every, in every day of my life. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you. Uh. It's a great pleasure and an honor to be here and uh, PhD is very proud and happy to uh, partner, uh, be a contribute to this event where we've had the pleasure of having Sister Shivani uh, in the chamber a few times before and we look for many more interactions with you and, and we love to learn, uh, get it more to our membership and we've all, the, all of us who are here, about 13 of us or so, are, have been very pleased with whatever is going on and we really look forward to this session and thank you all and welcome. A very warm good morning. It has always been a pleasure to work with the Brahm Kumaris, you know. The broader goal of Brahm Kumaris is to bring peace across the globe. And you know, the fruits comes out of the peace tranquility, love, compassion and these are the core values of our company also. So we are a company which is contributing for the happiness, for the growth of not only Indian population but across the globe. So we are basically a global organization and this particular program that is transforming self, it's a beautiful program and the way that has been conducted by the two experts. It was something awesome. And see, March being a very, very busy period for BHEL, so it is very difficult to bring senior level people. But I'm very, very happy that uh, there are three colleagues of mine who are there, Mr. Urswani ji, Mr. VK Chohan, and Mr. PJ Reddy. So we all feel very, very happy to be part of this great function. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, uh, Sanjay Mendi Ratta, and uh, I lead the investor relations at HCL Technologies. Well, I've been associated with the organization for some years, 
but it's been my innate desire to kind of take the key messages or the key philosophy to my organization i always tell them look we talk of uh, transformational deals transformational engagements why don't we have a look at transformational leadership and i'm very glad and i'm uh, very proud that my organization agreed to partner and wanted to it's the first time excel is partnering in such an initiative so i think it's a big step and the next uh, step possibly for me is because it services organizations all of us know is the people's uh, you know people are our assets human resources and we strongly believe that the value creation zone is when the people interact with the external stakeholders and my strong conviction which i my organization is definitely believing that when we enhance or maximize that value creation we empower people we can create more value and uh, it's it would be my endeavor to take this forward internally and probably uh, transforming into larger scale programs thank you so much thank you so much our dear partners and our dear participants because of which we are able to have this summit today and now going forward in our agenda i would like to call upon our next speaker on the stage sister shivani a big round of applause for her please we all have seen her heard her a few of you may also have interacted with her but it's a great pleasure to have her amongst us in this gathering she being from a technical background has also understood the technique of meditation and how this technique can be very useful in our day to day lives so someone who has blended spirituality and practicality so deeply and has weaved it so beautifully that we all want to know more about it is that true right yes. so without having much of my talking let's listen to sister shivani om shanti when you enter into om shanti retreat center so the name itself gives a message so it's called om shanti retreat center and everyone you meet here will greet you not with a namaste not with a good morning not with a hello and definitely not with a hi because hi means ki hamara jeevan bada hi hi chal raha hai hamara jeevan to wa wa chalta hai so every time we meet and we greet it's om shanti which is a meaning i am a peaceful being so why are we saying it again and again and again because every time i say it i feel it i create it i radiate it and i allow the other to feel it create it and radiate it one way of living is by saying i'm stressed sometimes we say i'm even depressed and one way of living is saying i am peace so om shanti is then just not a greeting not a mantra but it becomes a way of living so om shanti let's take a minute of silence in the morning brother kiran mai said a very beautiful line which i request each one of you to visualize and he said we need to create happy workplaces we need to create happy workplaces so just close your eyes for a minute and just take yourself to your organization and be right there on your seat with your people look at everything happening around you and just put on the screen of your mind a simple question and let your intuition give you the answer don't think the answer will just come to you how do i make my place happier than what it is right now how do i send my people home in the evening happier than what they come in the morning what is the shift that i can create 
for my people to start saying that happiness is my natural way of living and working. Three things that I will do from tomorrow. To send back people happier than what they come in the morning. Anyone? Any thoughts? Send back people happier than what they came in the morning. Any thought? What we can do? Hanji? Smile at them. Okay. What else? Hanji? Sense of fulfillment. So what can we do so that I start feeling that if I'm working at your place? What can we do? Appreciate them. Okay. Even if they make a mistake? Even if they're repeatedly making a mistake? Guide them. Acha. So while you're saying it, you're also writing it here. Huh? So what we are doing is we are contemplating. We are here where we have silent our conscious mind and our intuition is telling us some answers. But now we are going to write it on my conscious mind that I am going to guide and appreciate people even if they have made a mistake and even if they have made a repeated mistake. I will not be aggressive. I will not get angry. Yes or no? Leaders don't try anything. Leaders just decide and do it. Try word is not for powerful souls. Powerful souls say, I choose this, I decide this, and it's done. From when? From when? From now. We don't wait for birthdays and Diwalis and New Year's to decide from today, I will do this. So I'm a leader quality. So appreciate and guide. Anything else? But the wala baat mein dekhenge. Pehle sirf decide. Pehle sirf decide kar lete. Kyunke whenever we choose and we decide to do something, there's one word which comes there which is an obstacle which will say, Lekin, but... So let's keep the butt a little this air. Let's first look at what we want to do and then we'll clean out all the buts and the ifs and the offs outside. What, do, what does my mind say I want to do? How to do it? Second, but what do intuitively I feel what is the right thing to do in my organization? So be appreciative and guide people. Anything else? You will let your people know that happiness is a decision you make. By doing what? By taking action for human rights. By being that in your life first. Yeah. No? yeah. So by being that in my life first. Anything else? Mentoring them. Mentoring them. Mentoring them. Mentoring them how? Empower them, support them. Empower them, support them. Okay. Anything else? Involve them, listening to them, Hanji. Letting them be. Yes, letting them be how they are and accepting them as they are. Kal se. Yaan to hai ni na. Kal se. Letting them be how they are and accepting them how they are, and yet guiding them and inspiring them to do what is needed to be done. Letting them be how they are doesn't mean keep her. 
That will not work. Acha, one more thing. Anything else? Anything else? Being there, for them when they need us. Being there for them when they need us. Anything else? Flexible to accommodate their strengths. Flexible to accommodate their strengths and Flexible to accommodate your strengths and huh. and Acha, so you mean we should only look at their strengths and according to give them their roles and responsibilities. Right. Because when we give job profiles, we give according to performance-based job profiles. I know. It will begin with, for my first job, it will begin with my academics. And after that, it will continue based on my job profile. Nobody is giving me a job based on my sanskars, on my personality trait. That what is my inherent nature, which would be best suited for? But we are only looking at performance based. So we can look at the strengths of the person. Anything else? Work with them. Very good. Very sweet. Yeah. So we take a break after every one minute so that each one of us gets to check our thoughts, take a pause, create a powerful thought, and come back into activity. Anything else we need to do from tomorrow at work, Hanji? Facilitate their growth. Anything else? Listen to them. Listen to their problems. Lead by example. Okay. Now, while we're thinking of all these things, appreciate, empower them, listen to them, help them when they need us, support them, empower them. Most of this, we're looking at it in the outside. There is a lot that can be done without saying or doing anything. Because if you have an organization of, let's say, 100 people or 500 people, how much time do you have to listen to them, to talk to them? How much time do you have to listen to everybody's problem? And how much time do you have to guide each one personally? So do I really have that time? So when I think of what all I can do to be able to help someone, empower someone, guide someone, it has to be a very quick method in which less time and more result. Less time and more result. And that's where comes the spiritual method of communication. Communication is one with how I speak to you like brother sa shared in the morning, relationships, fundamental thing for leadership. So now you have been making a repeated mistake and I remember I have to appreciate you, I have to guide you, I have to motivate you. So I come up to you and I say a lot of nice, nice things and I say, you can do it, who said that? And inside, what am I thinking? Inside I'm thinking. Abhi tak to kiya nahi. She's not been able to do it till now. Kitna bhi koshish karo. Hota nahi. Pata nahi kal kar sakenge ya nahi kar sakenge. Samjhao to bhi karte nahi. So now this is two ways of communication. I'm speaking perfect words which a leader should be speaking. Encouraging, appreciating, motivating, guiding, helping. But my vibration that I'm radiating is absolutely contradictory to what I'm speaking. So I'm empowering the person with my words, but I'm depleting the person with my vibration. Now, what kind of a relationship foundation is this? And so beautifully he explained to us, you throw it up, it comes down. You throw it out, it comes back. So if my vibration is critical, judgmental, non-accepting, only here, not here. Your words are perfect. But if my vibration here is critical, judgmental, non-accepting, which means rejecting, I throw it out. I throw it out. 
it comes back. So be 100% sure that when you're creating those kind of thoughts for somebody, someone else's mind is also creating. Now for a leader, why it becomes so important? Because you are responsible to interact with 50, 100, 500,000 people. So it's very important how those 500 people think about you. And how they think about you is based on how you think. Not how you speak, how you behave. It depends on how you think. Because what you think, you create. It's your energy field. It's the aura with which you walk. It's the aura with which you enter into your organization early in the morning. It's the fragrance which you just radiate to everybody. And what you throw out comes back. Now, if I don't throw out the right energy and I am vulnerable to receiving the energy of 500 people throughout the day, and if those 500 people are not throwing the right energy at me, so by the evening, what's going to happen? I get depleted. And then by the time I reach home in the <laughs> evening to my family, discharged. Leader. And if I go home in the evening discharged, then it's very, unless I do something next morning, I will come home in the morning, I'll come to the office in the morning discharged because I didn't charge myself. And now this is not one day, two days, five days. This has become many, 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 many years. And then we started saying stress is natural and anxiety is natural and all those is natural. So it became natural for the leader. It became natural for everyone working with the leader. It became natural for your children at home. Now we want to change the natural for all of us. How many of you create stress naturally? Stress is natural. Stress is natural. Anger to nahi aata kisi ko. Acha, aaj subha ki first slide me dekha tha. Beta, alpha, theta, and delta. And then Balabhai said, "Super beta, I haven't even put in the slide." But if we don't take care, many of us would be in that super beta state most of the time. Super beta state means where the mind is thinking very, 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 very fast. So if I have a mind which is thinking too much, then quality is not very healthy. Then it's in that fast stage. Intuition is not working. Like brother showed us the pebbles, the surface will not be seen because it's so fast, my conscious layer. Then that is what I'm radiating to my people. And when I'm radiating that to my people, I'm not empowering them. I'm depleting them just by being who I am, not doing what I'm doing, being who I am. So why was this retreat organized only for leaders? Because you are in that role where if you empower yourself, not empower, People, just empower yourself, your vibration automatically empowers all those who are working with you. Automatically, it's a ripple effect, no? But if I'm depleted, if I'm depleted, I have to do nothing to deplete others. I just have to deplete myself. And I have to do nothing to empower others. I only have to empower myself. And when I start empowering myself, I automatically start empowering my people. And automatically, people will start going happier in the evening than what they came in the morning. It is such a big responsibility today of every organization to send their people happy in the evening. Whole society is resting on that now. All our issues which we have today, whether it's a parent-child relationship, whether it's a husband-wife relationship which is going through a lot of issues, whether it is addictions, whether it is abuse, whether it is anything, it's happening because people are not going home happy in the evening. So they don't have anything much left to give their families. So visualize a husband and a wife entering home in the evening at about 7.38, not able to dis decide who's more depleted than the other. So you know, you say, you know what a tough day I had, 
and the other one says, don't even ask, I had a horrible day. So what is the message that we are giving each other? No expectation from me, because I am already... And now if both are like that, what's going to happen to the children? What's going to happen? So emotional health of the children is getting affected only because we are not taking care of our emotional health, which means emotional health of every person working in our organization. So your transformation, you have absolutely no idea how many people it's going to influence. It's not influencing only you and your family, it's influencing the families of every person working with you. Because if they go home happy in the evening, they have more power to adjust, to tolerate, to accept. But if they go home irritable, depleted, then they will just snap at the smallest things that will happen at home. And then their children are like this. And then we read the newspaper and we say, Achha, ye ho gaya, ye ho gaya. Dunya mein ye ho gaya, ho gaya. What are we doing for it? This year, WHO declared for depression, right? And they have said by 2020, depression will become the second leading cause of death in our country. A country which is rich in religion and spiritual values, a country which still has family as a very strong unit. Why would depression become a cause of death in our country? 2020 is not far away. We're already going to complete half of 2018. So before you know, it's going to be Happy New Year 2020. And if we don't change ourselves, then that's where we are heading. And if we change ourselves, then by 2020, we'd eradicate depression from the country. We can. We can. So whose responsibility? Mine. Mine and doesn't require extra time and effort. It only means I start taking care of myself and I remove all those sanskars which are a depleter. Anger is normal at workplace. Why? Why? Bundle of problems to think. Yeah, anger, two different things. Problems to solve and anger is two different things. Issues to resolve, yes, there are issues, there will be issues and there will be many more issues. Not able to meet the expectations of? <coughs> anger. It is triggered by? So I get angry when you don't meet up to my expectation. Right? Right? So people's behavior, here is people's behavior, and here is my state of mind. People's behavior and my state of mind. And what I'm just saying is that my state of mind is dependent on? My state of mind is dependent on? people's behavior, true or false? Problems, people's behavior, state of mind. Connected? Connected? Think, think. We are thinking. We don't know what's the right answer. Let's think about it. <coughs> problem, not even problem. People's behavior. People's behavior. People could be your child. Child's behavior. Anybody's behavior. Anybody's behavior. People's behavior, situation, state of mind. Connected. Ek bar ek hat nikalenge bahar. And just keep any of your one issue on this. Anything. And you're not going to tell that to anybody. So you can put whatever you feel right. 
It could be an issue. It could be a person whose sanskar is not comfortable for you. So just put that person here. Okay? Ho gaya? Select? Select. Second hand. Put your state of mind there in this situation or with this person. Ho gaya? Now ask yourself, is there a connection? Their behavior is changing my state of mind? Your behavior can change my state of mind? Let's do it right now. Stand. Let's once and for all sort it out. Your behavior can change my state of mind? Think. 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 He's here. His behavior is here. My state of mind is here. Can his behavior change my state of mind? Your action can change my state of mind? Start shouting. So if you start shouting, my state of mind will get disturbed? <laughs> How sweet. That was very nice. He said, yes. Then he said, should be. And then he said, ideally, it should be. <laughs> How sweet. Let's think again. Let's do it the other way around. My behavior. I will now shout. It will change is not the point. Just pause and just think that when I behave in a way which is not right for you and something happens here, who is creating that something which happens here? You are creating for yourself. I am creating for you. That's okay. But what you're creating here, who is creating? You're creating? Pakka? Sure. Not me? Not me? Okay, that's a trigger. So after this trigger goes like this and I start behaving badly, then what goes on there is dependent on? Ek minute, ek minute. It's dependent on? It's dependent on you. Dependent on me? No. Dependent on? Congratulations. Sit down. Sort it out. Sort it out. Sort it out for a lifetime. This is leadership. See, when you're saying that your state of mind is dependent on my behavior, what are we saying? We are saying that I have no control here. It's all dependent on? And I am surrounded by people and people and people throughout the day and situations and issues and problems. And I am saying what I have said to myself that my state of mind is dependent on. So you can never expect this to be peaceful and happy and stable. It will all dependent on them, which is not true. So we are living in an illusion. And because we are living in an illusion, we allowed ourselves to get disturbed allowed ourselves to get irritated, allowed ourselves to get angry, and each time justified the emotion and said, because of, because of, because of. So now you change and you meet up to my expectations so that I can be happy in life. So leader, standing in front of people like this, Please change, please change, please change, please change. And are you ever going to reach a stage where everybody is going to meet up to your expectations? So once and for all, let's clear out this illusion. Life will change from this afternoon. I can create stress. I can create anger. But every time I create it, I have to know that who is creating it. So I'll say, they behaved like this. I created anger. I have a choice how much to create, 
for how long to create, and I have a choice not to create. Why? Because I'm in a role of empowering people. Suppose my role here was to empower 70 people, okay? So what's my role? My role is to empower 70 people. For me to empower 70 people, how should my vibration be? High. And I enter the hall, and the first person I meet just doesn't meet up to my expectation. And so the first person I meet when I enter the room doesn't meet up to my expectation, so I get irritated. But it's early morning, so I allow my irritation to just be inside. But when I've created the irritation here, what did I do to my vibration? It's got one bit down. Then I come to the next person. They too don't meet up to my expectation at all. And then I come up to the third person and they've done something which I never ever thought they could do something like this. So what's happening to my vibration? And I'm saying I'm in a role to empower people. I'm in a role to take critical decisions. I'm in a role to lead a huge organization. And I'm getting affected by everyone's behavior. People can even get affected by the weather if it's not the way they expect it to be in the morning. What is our way? Is the weather my way early morning? Is the road my way early morning? Are people driving the way I feel they should be driving? No. So if I want, I can allow absolutely anything and everything around me to. And similarly, if I want, I can be amongst everybody, work with them, guide them, discipline them, be very, very assertive, but not lose self-discipline. Because I'm very clear that they cannot do anything here. They can do everything there. You can stand there, shout at me, abuse me, do whatever you want, but you can't get in here. People can cheat us, betray us, lie to us. They can even physically hit us. That's all the power they have, but they cannot emotionally touch us. Why can't they touch us? Because it's here. This is the only one place where no one else can get inside. So that's the place where we have complete power, but that's the place where we've given up power only because we said, I'm irritated because of, I'm angry because of, I'm upset because of, I'm happy because of. Everything was because of something or someone outside. So that's a victim way of living where my state of mind is controlled by So when people come to your office, they ask your secretary outside, Sir, how mood is inside? They ask, how mood is inside? People can actually start manipulating us. They can manipulate us if my state of mind is dependent on people's behavior and words. They will know how to take us there. They will know how to bring us down because they have the, they have the remote control. They have the remote control. And actually nobody has the remote control. We are the ones who create everything. It's just that we are unaware. Unaware. So we don't say that I have created anger, we say that he has given me anger. This is a complete, here, do what you want with my mind, because my mind is in your control. Spirituality does this most important thing, that I am able to take charge of here. That's the only way where I will be able to be stable, even if there is chaos. Because this has no connection with if we take this one mantra back today, that this has no connection with this. This is not in my control. And this, I choose. I choose. I create. And even if I've created an emotion which is not right, I immediately sit back, correct, come back come back. But if I believed that my emotion was because of your behavior, then I was not changing it till you changed. So now even if I create anger, I will realize it's my creation. 
सेकेंड आई विल नॉट जस्टिफाई इट कि ये तो करना ही था थर्ड आई विल जस्ट पॉज एंड विद इन थर्टी सेकेंड्स बैक दोज आर दोज लिटल स्पेसिस विच यू सो इन दैट फर्स्ट सेंटेंस दोज लिटल लिटल स्पेसिस द पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स दोज वर दोज गैप्स विच वी टेक टू गेट बैक टू नॉर्मल सो माई स्टेट ऑफ माइंड इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन my state of mind is dependent on myself sure can you now just remember again what you put on this hand whichever the specific one yeah and what you put here and can you change what you're putting here can you change now what you're putting here because before that what you put here was dependent on their behavior now what we will put here is dependent on my innate quality <coughs> and i am i am a peaceful being i am a powerful being i am a compassionate being i am a loveful being i am a pure being now from that state of my original self now i will take care of these people then i will empower them then i will influence them then i will be able to transform them also but if i was getting affected by them so now situation around me can be at a lower vibration where would a leader need to be it's a if suppose there is a crisis it's a lower frequency right if i am on an average let's say uh my mind is at a frequency of 50 okay so i'm 50% here and then i reach my workplace and something is not right and the frequency of the scene is at 20 and i enter at 50 what's going to happen very soon i will get pulled down to the 20 so why spirituality and meditation is so important today more than ever before so that we can leave our houses in the morning taking our frequency here who i am as an individual a wonderful person who i feel i don't need to meditate why do i need to meditate is sab to acha hai there's nothing wrong with me why do i need to meditate i may not need to meditate for who i am but now i need to meditate for where i have to be the whole day it's like the weather of our city we may not be exercising not be doing yoga not be doing pranayam before today it was fine life was perfect but suddenly the air is not nice and now if i have to live in this air and be healthy then i have to start doing something for myself and so even if i was not doing it before i have to start doing it now because of the change that has happened in the weather because now if i don't do it then my breathing is getting affected my throat is getting affected i'm getting fatigued not because of anything that happened to me but because of something that happened outside so similarly the collective vibration of the world of our country of our city of our organization what's the collective vibration it's gone a little why has it gone a little low because everyone is saying stress is normal fear is normal anger is normal so that's the frequency at which they are vibrating so even when you enter your office your collective vibration of your organization is the collective vibration of the state of mind of all the people so it's a little low so even if i'm on an average frequency and i enter a place which is at a little lower frequency i'll get pulled down so now a leader or actually anybody cannot afford to leave their house without taking themselves here and that's why that half an hour for ourselves early morning clean clean everything of the past empower myself so that people and situations cannot do anything to me internally i remain stable i influence to do all that i need that half an hour in my morning that is my emotional health exercise so once i've taken out that half an hour i'm here now i leave for work people are here 
my organization is here. Now, I don't get sucked down, but just by being here, what do I start doing? So we have the power to raise the vibration of our entire organization just by being who we are. So you could be sitting in your cabin, you don't have time to meet every individual, talk to them, ask them their problems, help. That's not possible. You can do it once in a while for somebody, but you can't talk to all your people. If you have a huge organization, you might not even know the name of every person. Leave alone what problems they're coming with to work. How would we know? But just by being there, and then radiating that, and then allowing the organization to run on those principles which you have started adopting. What if we create an organization in which no one, absolutely no one, is allowed to use the weapon of anger with anybody? Is smoking allowed in your organization? No, why? Bad for health? Anger is also injurious to health. And more than anger, fear is injurious to health. So if one is creating anger, other is living in fear. So anger and fear are the vibration of my organization. It's automatically at a low frequency. You remove anger, fear will go out. So along with no smoking zone, can we make our organization a no anger zone? Starting with our cabin. Can you visualize people working, getting work done, but not going? Because once you're allowed to do it, you do it for the smallest of things. And once you're not allowed to do it, you're not going to do it. Look at the entire customer care industry. They are not allowed to get angry with anybody. People go up to them, abuse them, shout at them, and they smile back. It's not, but we will start doing it and then we'll be able to do it here, right? But if I make a mistake, you shout at me, I shout back, what are we doing? And after doing all that, we are saying, now get to work and achieve that target. So emotionally depleted people achieving big targets, obviously it will affect them. It's like I have a problem with my foot and you're telling me go run a marathon, obviously I'll fall. So you need to first heal my foot, then tell me to start practicing and then run the marathon. So what's happened in the last few years is targets have got higher and the people who are supposed to achieve them are getting depleted, gap. And those people coming to your place to achieve huge targets, you have no idea what all is happening in their family. If one day you had to sit and find out what all is happening at home, Somebody doesn't have somebody who's not well, someone's daughter's not getting married, someone's child has got divorced, somebody's not getting admission. So many things, somebody's having a problem with his wife and relationships. Everyone is coming to work with a the baggage. They're coming with a baggage. So what is our responsibility? What's our responsibility? Send them home happier in the evening. So that if we send them home happier in the evening, they'll have beautiful relationships with family. And if you send someone happy in the evening, next morning they'll come happier than what they went last evening. So it's a vicious cycle either this way or this way. Send them stressed and that's how they'll come next morning. Send them happy and that's how they'll come. Is it possible to make our organization no anger zone? Hanji? Try word to kari nahi sakte. Try word to vocabulary se hata do. We just choose, decide and do it. Because it is injurious to health. Assertive, yes. Discipline, yes. Turbulent, out of control, no. Wrong language, no. Demeaning somebody, 
No, because after one minute of demeaning somebody, that person has to go back to work. How do we feel after somebody has done that to us? Is that the highest concentration? No. So we've just depleted somebody and said, now go to work. So it's not just about you creating anger, it's about anybody creating anger with anybody in your organization. Not allowed. Not allowed. Kaam ho jayega? Kaam hoga? Hanji? Better hoga. Kyu nahi better hoga na? Visualize karna hai. Okay, with this depleted state of mind, we've created miracles. With happy state of mind, our responsibility is not just to create miracles outside. Our responsibility is for people to be happy, healthy, and have beautiful relationships. People are spending maximum amount of time at work. So whatever is the state of society, it will have to be rectified at workplace. So it's no point just reading in the Times of India, diabetes, oh, we are the capital of diabetes, oh, heart attack, ye, oh, depression, ye, oh, divorce, ye, oh, suicide, ye. Kya? The solution, kya? Solution, kya? Send back people home happier in the evening. And for that, it has to begin with self. And then we will start sharing that with people. Many organizations today have a simple technique which is called traffic control. That after every 59 minutes, for a minute, there is a nice light music which will play in the entire organization. And it's time to just withdraw and give your mind a rest of 60 seconds and to create a very beautiful thought. I'm a pure soul, I'm a powerful soul and come back into work. Pause, rest, Create a powerful thought and back. So it gives you that space. It gives you that space. So meditation is not about one hour. Meditation is about one, one minute. One, one minute of charging myself so that this battery comes home in the evening charged. Charged. And when the battery comes home in the evening charged, then happiness, health, and harmony in relationship will become a natural way of living. If we don't change this now, and we don't empower our children, then we are not looking at something very beautiful in the coming next generation. We are not. We are not. They are very fragile. They need strengthening. And that strengthening will happen only with parents. Only with parents. And parents only have to do what? Strengthen them. Strengthen themselves. How many of us have half enough for ourselves every morning? Half enough for yourself every morning? Yeah. How many of you like to read the newspaper before you leave for work? Acha. Just experiment for a month. Just experiment for a month. No absorbing any information from media early morning. Because that's my morning emotional breakfast. What I read, watch, listen. Now, information is not very positive what I'm getting because that's the reality of what's happening. But I can't fill myself early in the morning with because I cannot absorb low frequency information early morning if I want to stay at a higher frequency. I don't want to absorb what is happening in today's newspaper. I want to be a leader who influences so many people who will change tomorrow's newspaper. We need to change society, not just absorb it and make it more and more of what it is today. So the simple lifestyle change that we create at the Brahma Kumaris is early morning half an hour which was going and reading the newspaper. Now that's out and that half an hour is substituted with spiritual study, 30 minutes a completely different source of information. So if I read, watch and listen, anger, violence, depression, corruption, then that's what this becomes. But if early morning I read, watch and listen, peace, love, compassion, respect, then this is what it becomes. 
So I am what I read, watch and listen. So 30 minutes of consuming very high frequency information. That's spiritual study. That's gyan. 10-15 minutes of contemplating on it and fitting it here of how I'm going to use this today. Meditation. 45 minutes. Enough for the remaining 23 hours. Battery is charged. So keep your phone to charge. Keep your iPad laptop to charge and sit and charge yourself. And then within 45 minutes, all three of us are ready to take charge of the world. All three are ready for all the wonderful work that we have to do throughout the day. So let's start taking out this little bit of time and never ever say, I don't have time. That's the line which has to go out from here. Never ever use the line, I'm busy. Our Dadi Janki says, never say, I'm busy. It's a low frequency line. So what should we replace it with? I may be occupied, but I don't say to myself, I'm busy, because it brings me down. So we say, I'm easy. Just a line, and this will go up. Just one line, and this will go down. And whatever this is creating, the mind, the body is also receiving it. So let's not give low frequency vibration to the body. It affects my health. So 45 in the minutes in the morning for what we read, watch and listen. And another experiment, what we can do to raise our vibration is to experiment for a month with a high vibration food. Sattvic diet. Sattvic diet. Our food doesn't affect only the body, our food affects the mind. We are what we eat. So a month of experimentation. Let's not consume food which has vi vibrations of violence and death and aggression and fear. Because if I consume that vibration food, then that's influencing my energy field. So high energy food, high energy information, meditation, Happiness becomes a very, very natural, easy way of living. It's very simple, very natural, but just a little shift in lifestyle. So that's the reason why we are here together. So that together we take a decision and together we start an experiment. Leaders empower others, but for that we need to first empower ourselves. Then we don't have to empower others. Wo to apne aap hi ho so should we promise that for ourselves today? That I will take care of myself. I will take care of myself. Self-care before I start taking care of others. Self-discipline before I start disciplining others. Then it becomes simple, easy. And what we have shared today is just the beginning. We will all keep meeting like this often. You know? We should come back together to see, right, how the experiment was working. Right? Otherwise, to bhul jayega sab. So we need to keep meeting like this to see how our experiment is working, what are the little ups and downs which came, how we had to face that, how we can change that. So do you think we should keep meeting yes, yes. again? Sure. Yes? Yes? Keep meeting again. So we will keep meeting again and we can also start organizing retreats like this for our entire organization. Anna? For our entire organization. So you after lunch you will get to see this campus which is a beautiful retreat center with the best of facilities but most important with the best of vibration. So it's a very beautiful experience for people to come and stay here for a day or two. You know, you have come here today for half a day. Ideally, we should be here at least for a weekend. At least for a weekend. So we can start doing those weekend retreats for our organizations. There are a lot and lot of organizations all over the country who are regularly doing spiritual workshops for their people. So it's basically a soft skill training. 
where we will sisters will come to the organization or they can come here and we can be talking about emotion management team spirit time management de addiction relationships whatever is needed but if an organization allows it people to go through this in a regular manner when people are empowered when people are empowered productivity of organization automatically goes higher automatically goes higher so while you see the campus think about it contemplate how i can start introducing this to all my people so we can have retreats for them coming here they can even come with their families so it could be a only people retreat with family retreat it's a very big seva that you would be doing for your people biggest seva for them allowing them to resolve their issues create a silent powerful mind and come to work every day it will directly benefit the organization directly benefit the organization few organizations who are regularly taking benefit from this retreat center are maruti hero motor corp honda motorcycle honda cars psus like eil power grid indian oil list is long but then they take care they take benefit on a regular basis so it's like a calendar for the whole year that this group will go through a retreat and after a few months their turn will come again so it's a timetable that we create for all of them and this will directly benefit the organization so one retreat where we keep meeting together and retreat for them to come together yes let's take a minute of silence again i am a pure powerful being powerful being my every thought word action is my choice my creation my choice my creation my energy field my vibration It's full of peace and love. I am a radiator. I radiate peace, love and compassion. See yourself with your people at work. While you are working, you are radiating see that scene i radiate peace and compassion i empower just by being who i am every person working with me is happy stable happy people healthy people that's what my organization stands for each one empowers the other and collectively we raise the vibration of our place this is my responsibility the power to empower others We 
visualize your workplace a peaceful workplace no anger so nothing which is harmful is there in the vibration look at everyone talking to each other working with each other differences of opinion will be there but look at the way they will take care of it with respect with dignity dignity for the self and for the others this is what my organization stands for Shit.